Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. How y'all doing today? So today we are going to be clearing a bit of land. Most of it's going to be on time lapse. I'm not sure if y'all like that, but until we get more animals out here, a lot of what we do is just clearing. So mm -hmm. hence the time lapse. What we've got behind us is a mess. So there are cedar trees, sweet gum trees, bamboo, plenty of bamboo, a few pine trees, and just some what we call trash trees. And, and trash. And, and definitely trash. So we want to clear this up. We're going to be putting two fence lines with a barrier in between. So the fence line at the road, and we're going to have a little space. Then we're planting our fruit trees. And then we're going to have a little more space, another fence line, our electric fence, and this is where we're going to be putting our goats. Chew down the bamboo, hopefully, when it sprouts up. Yes, bamboo is wonderful for goats. It's a great treat. They love bamboo shoots. The really neat thing about golden bamboo, which is what we have here in the Carolinas, it can take being mowed and chopped down but not consistently. So as goats chew on the shoots over the period of a couple of years, it will just stop growing. And that, well, at least that's what I've read and that's our hope. Yeah. Then we will move the goats to other areas um, once we can get the bamboo under control and hopefully we'll have beautiful green grass eventually, but you'll see that in years to come. I'm going to take you around, show you a few points, and Jeff's going to go get the tractor. We've got some stuff we've already cleared that we're going to be burning, and then we're going to start chopping down some trees. So, let's get started. All right. Y'all have a good one, and hopefully uh, learn a couple things. At least I know I do every time I'm clearing something. So, I wanted to show you this real quick. This is right at our driveway and we have a pine and a bunch of cedar and then one beautiful hickory tree we want to keep that hickory tree but we need the rest of this gone we have a power line right there so all of this is going to have to be felled near the road so we're going to have to be real careful with that but we really want to hold on to that hickory tree <laughs> But you can this is just a pile of bamboo that we had cleared when we first came out here to get ready for the perk test. So we've got this pile we need to drag off and burn. And we also have another pile of bamboo that we need to drag off and burn. Another pile of bamboo that needs to be burned. And then this pile of bamboo. So we've got four stacks of bamboo that we need to pull out of here. And then of course we have more bamboo. These are bamboo stumps right here, right here. But I actually wrote a blog about this and I will link that in the description below. These are extremely dangerous, extremely painful, and you want to make sure you cut these all the way flush to the ground if you don't have time to tear up the rhizomes right away. And let me show you what I mean by rhizomes. This is a rhizome right here, this thing. And bamboo shoots will come up at every little node you see, which starts a new clone of the original bamboo. Here's a really good example. You can see this trail of green in a nice line, and that is the bamboo growing up out of a rhizome that's right under the surface of the ground. Rhizomes only go up to maybe 12 inches deep. So, not that they're easy to dig up, but they are shallow. So essentially, here is our before shot. And this is the part that we've already cleared. 
that's an apple tree that we were hoping to save but it's dying and we're gonna have to bring it down but all this is gonna go and we will give you an after shot when we get closer to being done look at all these mats that were under one tree or around one tree he had them stacked around this tree and we're not sure if he was trying to protect it or kill it it's a cedar tree so and it's been cut down yeah so we don't know but he had them stacked similar to this one over here see how he's got these black mats around the tree and there's another one right there and so if you know what his theory was was he trying to kill the tree or save the tree so I guess he was trying to kill him let me know in the comments below so when you're cutting bamboo at the stalk you can put a blade on just a traditional weed eater and it does pretty good yeah we're just using just a cheap this blade's a little dull of course but this is cheap I think what five bucks at Lowe's or something just mm -hmm. framing or something cutting two by four blade and uh, you know just mounts right to the bottom of a, a straight shaft weed eater of course and this little Greenworks battery operated one works pretty good so And those definitely work better to cut them off closer to the ground I don't even know where that one there it is well there were two yeah. and that makes it not so dangerous as I was explaining earlier on the ones that are sticking up but they do get really tough when you try to get through those little roots that pop out the bottom all those little roots right there and you're cutting through that stuff that stuff's really really tough Whew. Already getting warm, isn't it? Oh. Go over a couple other things too. You know, when you're clearing things, you also kind of want to watch out, kind of like I do. I kind of always kick up the ground right before I'm about to cut down low on anything. You know, a lot of times I cut these little stumps off. I'm not too worried about it. I just kind of check about where I'm going to cut because there could be something to where a old fence was attached to it and you'd have you know bob wire or something maybe going through or something like that but here's a good example of what I just kicked up because I was about to cut these pieces of bamboo down and look at there pull that out of the ground right over here You got all that stuff that's kind of low to the ground, so you always got to watch when you start to cut because, you know, if you haven't owned the property forever and done everything out there, well, you never know what you might come across. So, like for me, I'm always worried about my equipment by myself, you know, I get cut, I get cut, I get hurt, I get hurt. I can limp around, it'd be fine. When you got to buy new equipment, it always kind of hurts the pocketbook, you know. So... That's what I'm just saying too, you know, it's, you know, common thing to always look out for, you know. Just kind of a good reminder to don't get too uh, in a rush trying to clear things because rushing, you know, normally will lead to an accident because you're not paying attention to all your surroundings. So. All right, well, and then of course, you know, you've got just your normal trash laying around that you know can hit things so you always got to be careful because you know that may not directly hit me or something but if Shauna or a friend of mine or the kids or anybody was out here helping me you know I could hit that with a like my weed eater with that big blade on it and it's powerful you know it shoots stuff and I could just shoot across and 
you know, put somebody's eye out. You know, you never know. So, all right. Let's get back to getting the rest of this stuff done and getting this stuff out of here. So Jeff finally went and bought a new blade. Yay! This should cut through the bamboo a lot better than the one that's doled out. Way better. They fly. Yeah. And see, this is what I'm talking about digging up around what you got all this wire here catch that blade kick it back always try to be careful when your husband refuses to wear chainsaw chaps Jeff refuses to wear chainsaw chaps because they're too hot how you feel about that now not that bad I got actually I'd like to do what to say I did get lucky. I barely nipped it because another branch, because I wasn't clearing out my other stuff out of the way. So a branch hit the chainsaw and jerked me back and hit my knee. So, like my mama used to always say, there's always a first time for everything. And well, this is the first time I've ever cut myself with a chainsaw blade. So, yeah, hindsight 2020. It is a better idea to keep all your safety stuff on because this could have been way worse, especially right there on the knee like that. I could have probably dug in, I guess, to what, the kneecap and stuff and probably been limping for a while. Who knows? But just as a thought, probably a good idea to make sure you get all that proper safety stuff, even though if it's hot or you just think, oh, it's just a quick deal real fast. Might be a good idea to always wear them. So, but luckily, thank God, I got you know just a, just a nip. Well, and you know, I'm a guy. I don't have very many good clothes, and man, this is one of my better pairs of jeans, and now I got a big old hole in it. So, see, chaps, I guess would have kept my pair of pants, you know, a little better. Dang it. Hmm. Pants are expensive. Mm -hmm. So it took us two, not two days, but two half days to get this, what we got completed. And I'm going to pan around here in just a minute to show you how much we got done. We can't work from morning till night. It's simply too hot. And we know when to take breaks. We don't know when to wear chaps. Hey, I'm still alive still. Thank you. Uh, and I double checked. My chaps are coming in on Friday. So I was a week roughly behind. So a little delay, but at least we're getting them now uh, before we finish clearing the other four acres and have a bigger accident. So we're just thankful it wasn't worse, but hopefully that teaches you, please make sure you wear your safety gear. As far as getting everything cleared, did we get as much done as we wanted? Absolutely not. Well, um, nobody really gets as much done as they really want most of the time. But, you know. We would just like to snap our fingers and have it all done, right? We did get a lot done. and let. Turn you around and show you. We got a lot cleared and we are so excited on how much we got finished. So you can actually see the road, something that we couldn't do before. And yes, all that was completely covered in cedar, pine, trash trees and bamboo so what he's showing you now is some of the bamboo stacks that we got cleared out of the way and we can actually see to the full other side of the property very excited about that 
Let's zoom in. Yeah, he's way over there. We got, we got so much done. And we're very, very happy with the progress we've made. Again, it's, it's not an overnight process. It takes so much time to get this done. And that's one reason we invited y'all along to watch us on our journey, just to show how hard it is to do this by yourselves, but absolutely rewarding. I guess would be the word for it. If you know of anyone else that is wanting to clear land on their own or wanting to figure out what to do with their piece of property that is just totally overgrown, share our channel with them. They might be able to get some ideas and hopefully they can share some fresh ideas with us. If you like our channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Have a good one. Y'all be careful.